Maybe you should pull the fucking trigger. Yo, what up, babe? How you doing, guys? My name is Serge, and today I'm bringing you three new jeans. Two of them were acquired this month. One I bought a while back, but never did a pickup review on it. Now, since they are all from the same brand, I decided to chuck them all in together and give you guys this video. Also, as you can hear from the sound of my voice, I am feeling quite a bit under the weather, and so do bear with me. So the first pair at hand first made their appearance in the vlog where I went vintage shopping with my friend. They are the Salaho Motocross leather biker detailed zippers I mean I don't even know what the actual term for it is but the leather biker jeans now what I love about this and what many loves about this is their combination of denim and leather on top you've got the silver chain which is obviously iconic and now representative of the salon jeans the black salon tag in the middle it says DO4, so apparently, I don't know what DO4 stands for, but I know that all of their bikers are all DO4. So if you are buying a biker jean secondhand, look out for that. DO4 M forward slash SKLW, SK skinny fit, skinny fit, LW, low waist. Five pocket detailing. Now the pockets on this pair of jeans are really shallow. Like you can barely put anything in it. My cold holder just about fits phone probably wouldn't do the job and then on the side you've got a strip of leather that goes down to the panels you've got four zippers on each of the knees I mean that's the thing about these jeans as well super versatile you would think that because they're so low-key flashy you wouldn't be able to get away with them in a smart event but genuinely if you close the zips you're good they just look like a pair of clean black denim jeans in terms of fitting they are a skinny fit especially the knee so what happened with me is because I have a I've got a small waist and then I've got a rather large bum and my thighs are quite they're not big but they are definitely on the bigger side and then my calves are really skinny so I tried a size 30 waist which is true to size could get it up but then I just couldn't close it like once I get to my thighs Actually, that's a lot. It did go past my thighs, but I just couldn't close a pair of jeans. Now, I know that Salon jeans does tend to stretch, especially these guys, since they are made of raw black denim. But genuinely, I couldn't get in the 30s. So I sold my 30, went for a size 32. And although they fit great in the leg, the waist is big, basically. So I do wear this with a belt, because the waist is big. And that's purely because of this part. So if you do size up, Bear that in mind, you might fit fine here, but then the waist might be big. So I know that many others say go true to size and just allow it, allow for it to stretch. I reckon maybe a 31 would have done the job for me. And as usual, I got the bottom tapered to a five and a half inch leg opening, just because the one previous to that was not sitting quite well. I would only wear these jeans with boots and black boots at that. I mean, they look good with tan boots and suede boots and whatever, but just, Something about black boots make these jeans look hella clean. And yeah, that's my first pair of Sunwall jeans for this video. Moving on to the second pair of jeans. This one, I know I'm gonna get rinsed. The last time I went to Bista Village was about a month ago, I'd say. They basically invited some of the customers some of their VIP customers basically and what that allows you to do is to give you 30% on top of the outlet price so I was literally I only went for this pair of jeans I went there it was run with quite a few of my friends went there they still had them in my size last one tried them on they fit amazing and I think yeah I paid 200 pounds which to me is much more reasonable price again I don't know what the actual name is but basically cowboy jeans with uh, embellished embellished is it embellished I don't think it is embellished with detailing running down the side of the leg on both legs I am spacing out my words way too much lighting is going all weird black skinny jeans do2 from Saint Laurent again same details as the ones previously so you've got the five pocket design the silver chain on this, however, is starting to fall off, which tends to happen anyway with these jeans because they're really, I mean, they're attached only by like a flimsy thread. Amazing detailing on this, man. Like, I don't know why I love this so much. It's just so sick. In terms of fit, once again, tapered them to a five and a half inches leg opening. However, this time what I did 
towards you. I'm gonna get close to the camera right here. And if you can see that, boom, come on, focus. Yeah, you got it. Uh, I can't even speak right now. Raw finishing, so what I did was just, I cut the jeans shorter basically because they were too long. So I had to remove one of them, cut the jeans shorter, did a stitch just one stitch line across it so that the fraying doesn't get past it and then took a sandpaper to it and yeah just kind of went ham let's see yeah okay i just need to get closer so i took a sandpaper to it and now we've got this outcome it is distressed but not that much i reckon i still need to do a bit more to it but i kind of just wanted to show you guys on the video how it looks first hand so boom that is that and obviously while I'm close here I can show you some of the detailing on the jeans move my face away from it so these beautiful little pieces black string fits amazing I went true to size size 30 I don't know how often I'm gonna be able to wear them but I will definitely wear them but come on man man's a cowboy out here 200 pounds bargain bista amazing And then last but certainly not the least, we've got the summer staple, and that is a pair of white jeans. Now, as many of you know, a lot of the stores in London went into their sort of silent sale, and I was able to cop this during then for an amazing price. I believe these retailed for, was either 270 or 310 or something along those lines, and I paid within £100. So they were on a discounted price already, and then we used further discounts because man's about that life man's about that further discount life so white jeans so with these guys these are the d10 which is as i said a slim fit once again you've got the silver chain with the black tag i believe what they're now starting to do with the white jeans is well especially with the new season do2 that they've put out is they're using white tags to prevent from any bleeding onto the denim itself, which is understandable. Once again, five pocket design. What I would have loved for this pair of jeans is for the rivets to be a different color. They're dark. I don't know if you'll be able to see it from there, but they're dark. It would have been nice to have like a golden tone or like a copper sort of tone. These guys, I cut them short and I tapered it to a five and a half inch leg opening, said so that three times today. And yet I bet someone will ask me how tapered my jeans are in the comment section but yeah five and a half inches to me that's the perfect width it sits fine on top of boots and it hugs my leg nicely without it coming across as like a super skinny pair of jeans now what i did with this once again i'm going to show you the distressing and this is my i think anyway my best kept secret i prefer the distressing on this a lot more than the black pair of jeans that i showed you before and the secret to this is something that you'll find in your kitchen but like a cheese grater or whatever like some sort of graters this is really tiny holes now what you do with that you take the really tiny one take your jeans go ham against it trust me best distressing effect you'll find it will get hella fluffy obviously take out all the fluffs and you'll be good to go so that is my cropped mini to it's not even a tutorial it's just a little tip basically for you guys so you can go with the sandpaper i just prefer to go with the cheese grater like the effect is just awesome so yeah white skinny jeans from salon that was it for my three salon skinny jeans Hopefully this video was on the shorter side, but I wouldn't put it past me for it to be long. Let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to share, subscribe, leave a thumbs up. It helps the video a lot and I am super appreciative of it. Hope you enjoyed my jeans. I mean, these are my latest additions. So yeah, that is it for me. Stay tuned. I believe this week I'll drop another video in regards to my essence orders i'm doing like an unboxing type thing thank you have a beautiful day take care peace let me just answer the first question in regards to bbs that everyone seems to have sizing me personally along with a, is a floral shirt from asos's reclaimed vintage i don't know how many times i'm going to say a